we're here for the next couple of days delivering an apprenticeship programme that we offer and run with, or collectively with Prem Education Group. Uh, the programme is designed specifically with the employer, so Prem Education Group gave us the competencies they required um, for their staff to be competent in, uh, and we've designed a range of programmes that, that suit the needs of the Premier Education Group franchises, and it's, it's about delivering a standardised approach to training, which at the end of the day will enhance the profits of the businesses and return on investment by you know, spending time and energy on, on people. I've been presenting uh, the current picture of the apprenticeship programme. So today across the network there are 62 apprentices in learning, uh, range between the Premier Performing Arts and the Premier Sport. Uh, the majority are uh, de being delivered at an advanced level, uh, some intermediate level, and you know, learning skills that help them perform every day in their job well. The, the apprenticeships at Premier are different uh, because uh, the, the framework itself is delivered together for and on behalf of, of the franchise owners. It's the skills they require. Um, it's not just a normal apprenticeship program. It's a gold standard apprenticeship program where it's not just the mandatory offer as an apprentice. They get a lot more skills, a lot more qualifications, and they come out the other end a lot more competent uh, in terms of their job roles. There is a clear progression route from an activity professional through to a franchise owner. So it's skills and leadership um, throughout the whole of the network. Um, Premier Performing Arts skills and Premier Sports skills are common because even though one's delivering in terms of activity within Performing Arts and one's delivering it through sport, the competencies are absolutely crucial. So it's the underpinning knowledge that they need to be able to deliver uh, a standardised approach to their product every day. Learning and development uh, are the key areas because it's about understanding what the demand is from the businesses in terms of what products they need to deliver and what skills gaps they, their staff have to deliver their, you know, their product and their, and their business every day. So it's about using demand-led skills training which responds to the industry demands. So it's understanding what their local labour markets need and us responding to the skills. Um, Creative Sport and Leisure is all about uh, bespoke and innovative provision uh, through its design of curriculum and it's about what the employer's requirements are, it's not about what we say they may, may or may not require. Um, so it's current, it changes as, it, as, 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 as the year goes on. Um, it's about blended learning, online learning and face-to-face -face learning. And it's about giving young people or people within the businesses a career moving forward and a qualification that can be transported outside of a education group if required, but absolutely uh, has, has the gold plate in terms of its delivery. It's not a standard apprenticeship programme at all. Coming to the conference today um, has confirmed that, that the relationship that we have with a primary education group in terms of asking them what they require is absolutely the way forward. And, it, and, it's, and it's given me confidence that the apprentices that, that the businesses are investing in are ethical apprenticeships. They're not just apprentices for um, a pocket of their business, it's, it's throughout the whole business itself.